though today we are talking about Stockholm syndrome as a disease when we are talking about as a disease a disease is a particular abnormal condition which can be structure or function on the basis of a continuous research and detail in international in WHO's or in APA like American Psychology Association Stockholm Syndrome so as a Stockholm Syndrome is come in between controlling and abusive behavior all the psychology towards the treatment or healing is based on the behavior how to behave when behavior goes abnormal in that case we feel there is a disturbance if it is a mental disturbance is cognitive disturbance it is the disturbance because of the circumstances it all affects on the body when it affects on the body our brain our sensory system stop working under the pressure whosoever give us the relief we get addicted or dependent on that now in the situation of hostage when the hostile person is keep coming and pushing something unwanted with creating by the fear or creating to fear or creating to harass then the time comes in between when it releases and the fear goes away it could be food it could be water it could be relax it could be attached with the clan it could be attached with this different type of uh, strictly pushers it could be involved in a specific kind of gain of the power it could be a level of a day it could be a level of a week it could be a level of months just like Stockholm syndrome when it was attached with the Stockholm syndrome at that time it was a bank robbery around six people were involved as the abductor and hostage and the kidnappers or kidnapped by but the same kind of function did develop in the name of the city like Stockholm syndrome then there is a Lima syndrome so the Lima syndrome comes later in it was like more than 100 days it was more than 100 days in a Lima Piro it was related with some Japanese or um, some uh, hostage situation there too now the point comes back when we are under the pressure under the abuse and get relieved we start getting in love with a person who is giving us food water love it may be sex it may be all those things which are going to relieve at that time but in that barter a person have been crushed mentally and he that is that is the problem area the problem area is this that the person don't realize who actually is abusing is abusing his power of thinkings if I just jump from here to conclude it with the sense that in Quran la ikra fiddin there is no push or jabber or ikra enforcement on the way of Islam la ikra fiddin now here the deen word is behave on the way it's not a religion it is a way of life like a deen like Rafid Deen or if I tell you to conclude it also with the Kulya Yuhal Kafirun La Abudu Ma Tabudun Wala Antum Abiduna Ma Abud Wala Ana Abiduna Ma Abadun Wala Antum Abiduna Ma Abud Lakum Dina Kum Vliyid Deen that who you are if you are going to enforce or impose your dress or your food or your language if you are going to push I am going to tell you that I am not going to be praiseworthy of that push that abusive way so if you want to abuse the power of me I am not with you and I don't want to push my powers to push you 
like wala ana abidun ma abattum i am not going to pray what you are praying for what you are respecting for so lakum dina kum waliyuddin you have your way i have my way iska matlab ye hua ke hum jab insaan ek dusre ke upar hakimiyat ka aisa daur chalaye ya is tarah mehsoos kare ke hame aisa qaidi bana ke rakha jaye to zehni qaid ke andar aadmi jo hai apne pinjre ke andar dana dalne wale ka मोतरिफ होने वाले परिंदे जैसा होता चला जाए ये है स्टाक होम सिंड्रोम जिसका नतीजा ये होता है कि आदमी अगर बाद में कोर्ट और केसेस में तो अपने एब्यूजर को अपने ही अपना मेहरबान समझ रहा होता है थैंक यू वेरी मच प्लीज कीप वॉचिंग गुल इन्फो फॉर यू कमेंट्स लाइक एंड शेयर